सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिप्स बाय अनिल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर अपकमिंग वीडियो हे फ्रेंड दिस इज अनिल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट शेयर पॉइंट होस्टेड ऐप सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हाउ टू क्रिएट द प्रोवाइडर होस्टेड ऐप एंड इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल लेट यू नो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन शेयर पॉइंट होस्टेड ऐप एंड प्रोवाइडर होस्टेड ऐप एंड why we need to use the sharepoint hosted app and why we need to use the provider hosted app all right so let's move on visual studio so basically sharepoint hosted app can be host on on premises means sharepoint server and also sharepoint hosted app can be host on office 365 okay so sharepoint hosted app that day november december click on okay So here I provided the URL, and here you can see here are two options: provider hosted app and SharePoint hosted app. So we are going to create the SharePoint hosted app. Click on next. <clears throat> so once you will click on next, it will ask you the credentials of the Office 365. So here I will provide the credentials. so i have already logged in in browser so it will not ask to put user id and password so once the pop up will be open then you have to provide your office 365 user id and password click on finish so once you will click on finish it will take few seconds to creating the sharepoint hosted app so one more thing in sharepoint hosted app you will get uh, some content folder inside the content folder you can put your css and also you will get a javascript for jquery folder app.js inside that you can put your custom js and also you can create your custom js file and also you will get a aspx page and inside aspx page you can uh, here you can see inside the pages you can see the default.aspx page so in the default.aspx page here you can put your stuff okay and here you can see image section you can provide your icon for the uh, for your app and here you can see the app.css so here you can put your css all right <clears throat> and inside the script folder you can see app.js file so here you can put your custom css or custom css and here you can see app manifest file so once you will click on this so here you can provide the permissions on the uh, resource so let's suppose that i want uh i want uh create a app and i want the uh, insert or update inside a sharepoint list then i will provide the permissions on list or if you want do some work on site collection taxonomy whatever you want to do you can provide the permissions over here and which kind of permission you can provide you can see read write manage and full control read means you can read the uh, resource write means you can write the resource manage and full control inside a full control you can you, you have a full con control on this resource okay all right so we will just move on default.aspx page so in sharepoint hosted app you can see we have only default.aspx page but we cannot do uh, server side code we don't have dot cs page but in provider hosted app you can see we have both default dot aspx 
and default.aspx.cs page. But you cannot do the server side code. You can use the client side object code means client side object model and what is the client side object model i already told you in my previous video so client side object model is nothing it's a dot net manage code so here the suppose that we are going to deploy over here i just clean this Okay, so deploy has been started. So it will take few minutes to deploying the SharePoint hosted app. But also you can see here is the link for contained app.css, script app.css. So contained and inside the content, you can see app.css and inside, <coughs> uh, uh, inside the script you can see app.css so if you want you can provide your custom css and custom css as well okay so installing is in progress it will take few minutes to installing the app so once the app will be installed then you can see i have already created a app for you so I just uh, create a user registration form so here you can see you can create the user registration form okay so now once the app will be deployed automatically a URL will be open I will just log in So it will ask the trust it lets it access basic information about the site lets it access basic information about the user of the site just click on trust it yes so here you can see the page title okay and this is my app name and okay so here you can see hello and username okay now what i will do i will just change the title name so the title you can see over here so I will uh, just uh, make a title cool SharePoint hosted app and here you can see this is the initialization so the following content will be replaced with the username when you run the app see app.gss app.js file okay so inside the app.js dot file you can see the message this message means this message will be replaced by the hello user dot get title but initially you can see it will come as a initialization till the js file will not load okay so here i have a uh, some code for a registration form so i will put this code here you can see our app hosted at 30 December now I will go in app.css file put the custom CSS over here and this is my HTML so 
we'll put the HTML here now I will again deploy this app so once I will deploy this app automatically you can see Five hundred internal server error because we are going to deploy this app. So once the app will be deployed, then you can see the user registration form. So this is the demo only, or uh, we are creating the user registration form. So whatever you want, you can create. You can create your menus, custom menus. You can link with another page as well. So for that, you just need to add one more uh, page uh, just as we have default.exbx you can add your another page and inside a menu you can add that page as well okay so once your app will be deployed then click on i will click on trust it my sorry something okay here you can see Here you can see cool SharePoint hosted app. Okay, so uh, please subscribe my channel as well because if you will not subscribe my channel, you cannot get more updates. So thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.